Hello, this is Abdul Mata Asiri. I would like to welcome you in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. This uh, video is the third in the series talking about the Boeing 737 approach and landing for new pilots. Uh, in this uh, video, we'll talk about how to maintain the proper glide path and do the necessary corrections. So for this video, we'll use an ILS glide slope since uh, it's the most sensitive. But the same technique can be used for non-precision approaches as well as uh, visual approaches. Those are the three main points that we'll cover. Sync rate, that is vertical speed and attitude. Reference pitch attitudes and ground effect anticipation. Okay, so for the first point, the uh, pitch attitude and the sync rate, I'd like just to mention uh, one thing here is in many references the uh, it's mentioned that the pitch attitude controls the speed and the thrust controls the sync rate. However, for me personally, when I started flying the airplane, uh, it made sense to me to link the pitch attitude with the sync rate and the thrust with the speed. Now, having said that, remember that all of them are related. So all the four, the sync rate, the pitch attitude, the speed and the thrust are all related. And usually, if you change one thing of the four, all the three will uh, will change as well. But in this uh, video, we'll just talk about the pitch attitude and the sync rate. And what I wanted to say here is, or for any specific pitch attitude, you will have a specific sync rate, provided that you are, let's assume that we are maintaining the correct uh, speed. So if I maintain 2.5, for example, here, I'll end up with about 500 feet per minute and so on. So this is very important to, to know as for a specific pitch attitude you'll have a specific vertical speed or sync rate and that will help you a lot in controlling the glide slope and as well as uh, doing the correction. It's easier to do the correction and uh, controlling the gli glide path using the, uh, the pitch attitude it's easier than even to monitor the vertical speed. However, you are still need to do the correction for, all, for everything, the BFD, the ND, the engine instruments and uh, looking outside as well but using the pitch attitude as a guide for your correction and maintaining the glide path will make uh, the approach easier and smoother now for the uh, second point which is having a reference pitch attitude so usually you'll disengage the autopilot after crossing the final approach fix so let the autopilot stabilize on the glide slope and then try to make a mental note of whatever pitch attitude the autopilot is using to maintain the uh, glide slope in general usually it's going to be slightly below the 2.5 degrees uh, pitch attitude and that will result in about 800 to 850 feet per minute which is what you usually need on uh, an ILS, a 3 degrees ILS of course that will change slightly based on your ground speed so now we have the glide slope capture and our vertical speed is still increasing 750 feet per minute to 800 so as you can see, with the pitch attitude slightly below the 2.5 degrees uh, pitch up, we have about 800 feet per minute. So that's our first reference uh, pitch attitude. As I said, in general, it's going to be around the 2.5 degrees pitch up, and that will result in about 800 feet per minute uh, descent rate. So now for the uh, correction, I'm going to disengage the autopilot and auto throttle, and I'll. Uh, try to be half a dot above the glass slope and then we'll do the connection the correction so now with the half a dot if I return back to my reference pitch attitude which is, was slightly below the 2.5 degrees I'm gonna maintain uh, this difference which is half a dot so as you can see we are approaching the 1000 feet AGL so we need to limit our sync rate to 1000 feet per minute and again if I have a reference pitch attitude for that vertical speed then I can maintain it knowing that I'm not violating any uh, stabilized approach parameter and still be catching up to the uh, to the glide slope so we'll go to the horizon we're slightly above the horizon and that is 1050 1100 so I'll reduce it a little bit 
We'll go for 1050 and as you can see slightly on top of the horizon I have about 1000 feet per minute and then we can get back on the glide slope with no problem once I am on the glide slope then I'm gonna go back to my reference pitch attitude which was slightly below the 2.5 degrees picture so I'm gonna reposition and we'll go for half a dot below the uh, the glide slope and we'll do the correction again okay so for this example I'm gonna move one of the uh, square pitch attitude aiming for half of my vertical speed which was about 850 so I'm doing now 450 feet and I'll wait for the glide slope to come down to to be at the center now I don't want to go a uh, level flight because if I do that then the glide slope will just be very quick going through the center and then down and uh, it will be uh, you'll be going from one correction to another so just reduce your sync rate and wait for the glide slope to get back to center and then return back to your reference uh, pitch attitude and as you can see one movement of this box will result in uh, 500 feet per minute change in the uh, vertical speed so we'll maintain and then once the uh, the glide slope comes back then we'll go to our reference pitch attitude so uh, that's it for the second point so remember you need to have a reference pitch attitude to aim for that is for the correction for 1000 feet per minute uh, descent rate and for uh, half of the uh, descent rate if you are below the uh, the glide slope and this will take us to the uh, third point which is the ground effect anticipation now all the references mentioned that the ground effect will start at one wingspan and that's going to be about 100 feet for the uh, 737 and the real effect will start at half wingspan so that's going to be around 50 feet now however through the approaches that I have been doing I have noticed something like the ground effect below 500 feet and somewhere around uh, 100 feet where the airplane will pitch up and if I don't any uh, if I don't react to that then the glass slope usually will go down and the speed will drop anticipate it be ready for it if you feel the airplane for some reason is pitching up then just apply some forward uh, pressure on the control column and that will keep the glide slope and the speed of course will not change if you have noticed it please uh, leave a comment and let me know but i have noticed it in uh, many approaches where the wind is almost calm at night and it has been very clear to me when i first flew the airplane i would come perfectly on glide slope and speed and then at the end as i said below 500 feet something will happen and usually i lose the uh, glide slope and the speed start decreasing and that conclude the third point uh, so remember if you are starting with the airplane think about the uh, the pitch attitude with the with the descent rate if uh, that makes sense to you then use it second if you are pilot monitoring just try to uh, look at the pitch attitude relation to the vertical speed and when you fly try to have a target pitch attitudes for 800 feet per minute 400 feet per minute and 1000 feet per minute descent rate and finally make sure to be proactive in the correction and especially when you descend below 500 feet AGL to make sure that when the airplane pitch up you are ready to apply some some forward pressure on the control column to maintain the glide slope and the speed i hope that uh, this video would be of some benefit to you as usual if you have any questions comments or concerns please let me know until next video this is abdul mati wish you a safe line and smooth landing Thank you for watching.